time to repaint the front porch. These are just pine boards that we keep a fresh coat of paint on. Starting to show their wear. You can see the paint's coming off in a lot of areas. The steps are really worn. Uh, this area right here, that's where we had the, the seam in the gutter. And it dripped when it rained. Never could quite get it to stop dripping. I worked on it and worked on it. So that's what's caused that. It's just water dripping down there over the years. Uh, we've taken care of that problem. Had a new seamless gutter put up. Done it last week. All the way around the house. So we have no seams on any of the gutter now. So that should stop that drip that we've been getting there. Uh, I'll scrape the porch before we repaint it. Of course, clean it after I scrape it. It'll be quite a job. And another problem we have, you can see these nails. When we built this porch, we used nails instead of screws. And I like the nails because the flathead kind of blends in with the wood. Or a screw, you would see the either the Phillips slot or the Torx head slot in the screw. So those are, they pop up. You can see that one's up. Some of them worse than others. That one's raised up. So I gotta go around with a hammer and a punch, which is right here. And I'll just punch those down, get them down slightly below the surface of the board. And then we'll move everything off the porch and I'll then put, put a new coat of paint on. And you can see here some algae build up on this corner where the sun doesn't shine very often. That's typical in about any house. You got a shaded area, you're going to have some algae growth. So we'll have to clean that off. The paint we've we've already purchased, it's a specifically a porch paint, and it's supposed to have a preventative that helps prevent the algae from coming back. Uh, we'll see how that works. But I'm gonna get started. First thing I'll do is punch these nail heads down. You see, there's a good example of what the nail heads will do over the years. They'll pop up. I'll get all of them punched down and then we'll clean the porch off and get it ready for some new paint. Well, we're about ready for some paint as quick as the rest of this dries up. Scrubbed it really well with some soapy water so I think we can get a coat of paint on this today and we'll do our best here's the paint we're using it's a Dutch boy paint and primer and it's supposed to be kind of a glossy finish so we'll see when we get it put on there how glossy it is I'm beginning to put some new paint on. I think what I'll do is trim around the post and the touch up work where it's in close close quarters. Get all of that finished and then I'll just have the main part of the floor and that'll be pretty quick quick work to do that and I considered waiting until tomorrow morning to start on this but thinking it over the morning sun comes up 
right over there and it's hits this porch until probably noon time close to it so now it's up overhead and pretty cool on the porch right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do it today i think that was a smart decision and it is a pretty glossy paint Well, stock right there. So, maybe probably half done. I stopped over here. Has some knots that have bled there on the pine boards. Some more scrape them up, get the goo out of there before I paint that. But I'm probably half done, I would say. All right, took about two hours. I have the storm door propped open. Close that sweep on the bottom, I didn't want it to get into the paint. So that's why it's open. But I like it pretty well. I like that. I think I like that glossy look. So we'll let it dry probably till tomorrow before we put all the, the glider and the chair and everything back on. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.